Hi guys, Betty Horn here. Welcome to my channel. Um, sorry I've been out of commission for a few weeks. Uh, we had a little thing we had to deal with called Ian. But uh, we lost power for a week. We were fortunate we got the uh, weekend of the storm. And so there wasn't any major damage around our area. There was a lot of uh, storm debris, tree branches down, and that kind of stuff. But uh, the hurricane turned south, so we got the weak side of the storm. And other than no power, uh, we still had water, so we were still good. Um, <clears throat> it was a little uncomfortable, but the Lord saw fit to temper the temperatures so it didn't get into the high 80s and 90s, so it was tolerable. And I want you to know how much I appreciate all the prayers that we received. I could feel them on my behalf, and uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, another thing I'm dealing with is uh, I've got a bad case of bronchitis. So I'm on my second uh, round of um, prednisone, which messes with my blood sugar. And so I've been a pretty sick puppy for a while. Um, I think I'm getting better, but it's still there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I want to revisit... The last hymn that I sang, um, Let Us All Press On, there are good scriptures there, and I want to go over the words again. I usually leave you to go over the words and the scriptures, and I'll just sing the song and hopefully let you experience the spirit behind it. But there's so much to this. And there probably is to all the hymns. I just haven't tapped into it like I have this one before. And um, it just says so much about what's going on in these days. And I just love it. Um, first of all, um, I want to read the words. I have to get organized here. Let us all press on in the work of the Lord, that when life is o'er, we may gain a reward. In the fight for right, let us wield a sword, the mighty sword of truth. We will not retreat, though our numbers may be few, when compared with the opposite host in view, but an unseen power will aid me and you in the glorious cause of truth. If we do what's right, we have no need to fear, for the Lord our helper will ever be near. In the days of trial, his saints he will cheer and prosper the cause of truth. Fear not, though the enemy deride. Courage, though the Lord is on, for the Lord is on our side. We will heed not what the wicked may say. But the Lord alone we will obey. And there are parts of this that remind me of, um, I believe it was Elijah and the servant that uh, was afraid. And Elijah prayed that the servant could see the hosts of heaven. And he saw, as far as I could see, all the hosts of heaven that were standing there ready to um, aid in the help so that they weren't overrun by the enemy. Now the scriptures that come with this are um, Doctrine and Covenants 6, 33 through 37. And I want to read that to you. And it Fear not to do good, my sons, for whatsoever ye sow, that shall ye also reap. Therefore, if ye sow good, ye shall also reap good for your reward. Therefore, fear not, little flock. Do good. Let earth and hell combine against you, for if you are built upon my rock, they cannot prevail. Behold, I do not condemn you. Go your way and sin no more. 
Perform with soberness the work which I have commanded you. Look to me in every thought. Doubt not, fear not. Behold the wounds which pierced my side, and also the prints of the nails in my hands and feet. Be faithful, keep my commandments, and ye shall in inherit the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And it talks about in here in verse 34, uh, let earth and hell combine against you. That's secret combinations. They will not stand. They cannot prevail. The Lord says they cannot prevail when you're built on his rock. And one of my favorite scriptures is verse 36. Look to me in every thought. Doubt not, fear not. And I have no fear. I... I have often said this. I I learned the hard way. I spent, I wasted so much of my life in fear. I wasted 40 years being afraid of a ghost. And I am not going to be afraid anymore. <clears throat> because I know on whose feet I stand. I stand behind. I know who stands behind me. I know the rock on which I stand. And I have no need to fear. The second scripture that goes with this is 1 Nephi 22, verses 15 through 17. And it reads, For behold, saith the prophet, The time cometh speedily that Satan shall have no more power over the hearts of the children of men. For the day soon cometh that all the proud and they who do wickedly shall be as stubble. The day cometh that they must be burned. For the time soon cometh that the fullness of the wrath of God shall be poured out upon all the children of men. For he will not suffer that the wicked shall destroy the righteous. We have a sure promise that we cannot be destroyed by the adversary or his minions. We cannot be destroyed by them because of the, because of the rock, because of Jesus Christ. We cannot be destroyed. Even if they destroy, Paul says, even if they destroy the body, they cannot destroy the soul. The only way they can destroy our soul is if we allow it. And if we stand firm on the rock of Jesus Christ, we cannot be conquered. We cannot. And that is so much hope to me. I love knowing that I can count on my Heavenly Father. I can count on my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He saved me literally from the storm. He saved us from Ian in a very real way. He can save our souls in that same way. I know these things are true. I know that God lives. I know that Jesus Christ is my Savior. And I know all of these things are true by the power of the Holy Ghost which testifies of it to me. And I leave that with you in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen.